So <clears throat> I, w I wake up in the mornings and my body hurts. And I really think, oh, God, I'm old. This is how it is. It's always going to be this way. Ow, ow, oh. And then I get up and I don't hurt so much. And, and I think of, there is a Rumi quote. I didn't read it this morning, but it says, dance until you shatter yourself. So I started dancing around and it hurt. So I stopped. <laughs> it, the most important thing right now is to, for me, is to contemplate death because I, I don't really think there could be such a thing. I think that there isn't even such a thing as life, but we, I won't get into all that. But I just really have to say that, or there's a quote, a Rumi quote, be empty of worrying, think of who created thought. And if I can get myself there, which is just pretty easy, it's just, oh yeah, because I always say, we're not the thinker, we're the thought. We're not the doer, we're the done, because that's 5,000 years old, that's not original to me. It's all that ever could make sense. I know that I don't do the thinking, I know that I don't do the doing. Duh. And when I'm in resistance to what is, I'm twisting in agony until I can let go and flow with what pe some people call God's will. It's just, that is so simple. I mean, it is so simple. It's always simple, but it's sometimes the resistance thoughts mess it up. So body hurts, yeah, and then I check in and I ask myself, is it true? And it really, it's never true because <laughs> it's always moving out. Oh, it's just so cool. It's just so cool. So my suggestion is contemplate death. And that's what all this blab was about. End of TED Talk. Okay, okay, that is so silly. That was a spiritual minute with Gopi Katie, even though maybe it was just a lot of blab. Bye. Just contemplate death. Go in circles if you want to.